Yo, what up, what up, what up? Wally here, guys, bringing you not another team death match, but actually uh, some one in the chamber games that I got. I know it's a little bit different. It might be scary, but uh, I think it was time I needed to uh, switch it up, you know, bring some different gameplay and stuff. But uh, I definitely had some fun playing these um, one in the chamber uh, wager matches against what I like to call the Tubes. And uh, the Tubes are uh, the Christmas noobs, you know, all the kids who got this game for Christmas and uh, jumped on unexpectedly coming up against people who have played this game way too much in the last month. Pretty much meaning myself. Uh, yeah, anyways, though, I mean, these kids, they come in and, God bless them, they just have no idea what they're doing. And uh, it makes for fun gameplay for me and hopefully interesting gameplay for you guys to watch. But, um, yeah, last night I was playing with uh, four of my other friends, and um, most of my friends are pretty average to below average gamers, to be honest, but I was playing with two kids that were pretty good and then two kids that I would consider to be average uh, Call of Duty players. And it was probably the most dominant night I've ever had on this game. Like, we we ended up playing, I think, 26 games. We got a 25 um, win streak going. And it wasn't even the amount of wins that we got in a row because I know that's not that impressive, but uh, it was just the amount that we were beating teams by. It was absolutely ridiculous. I think, like, our best game was, like, 75 and seventy five and like to 8. But there were a lot of games where we were keeping them under 20 kills. And it was just, like... It was absolutely ridiculous, and you know, I am by no means bragging or anything, or saying that that's like a huge deal, because it really isn't. These kids had no idea what they were doing, and it, you know what, it's not their fault. Sorry, excuse me for one sec. Oh, sorry, it's in the morning, and uh, I just had to take a sip of my delicious Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You know, I always love that in the morning, it's absolutely delicious. But uh, anyways, you know, it's not their fault. They just, you know, they come into this game not knowing anything. And, and, you know, most of my friends know exactly what they're doing. We all have mics on. And we know every corner of the map. So, you know, when you think about it, it's just not fair at all. But, um, you know, I was thinking, like, why don't they have um, the playlist that they used to have in World of War? Because that was absolute perfect remedy for what I'm talking about. I mean, in that, in that um, game, you know, there was a playlist for new players up to a specific level so they could kind of get a grasp on the game before going and playing with the regular um, group of people that's out there. I mean, I know that's not going to help people adjust to a learning curve that exists in Call of Duty, but, you know, it's a start, and it's definitely something they should continue to implement in these games because it is nice for those players to be able to jump in and play against some people that are at their own speed while they're, you know, first learning the mechanics and getting the, the basics down. I mean, I know they still have combat training, and you could argue, but most people don't want to do that. It's really not that fun. So um, this game wasn't that awesome except for this part right here. See, I get the double kill into the triple. Nice little triple feed there. Uh, put a smile on my face. I definitely love when I get little things like that. And that's what makes uh, one in the chamber for me my favorite um, my favorite wager mode or wager match or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a little bit more... Um, I don't know how to really describe it, I guess. A little bit more... Um, structured game type because when you play the other um at least at least for like recording and then showing you guys because when you play the other um when you play the other wager matches they're just so sloppy like oh right there those that jump knife i don't know why that sorry i'm cutting myself off but that jump knife right there i must have did that five or six times against these kids and for some reason whenever i did it they're just like mm -hmm, and just easy easy stab easy kill every single time i loved it and I will take every free kill I can get because I missed a couple shots that I shouldn't have missed in these. And luckily that jump knife uh, got me out in a couple binds. But anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, the other um, the other wager matches, they just seem like a little sloppy to me. Like everyone, It's just because everyone's racing, you know, to get those kills. And you have to get a certain like number of kills within a specific amount of time. So KD doesn't really matter. So everyone's just sprinting around. It just kind of makes for sloppier game. Whereas this, you know, there's a limited number of lives. And, um... It just makes people play a little bit more careful, a little bit smarter. And for me, I just enjoy that more. I don't know. I think I can just helps me predict what people are going to do versus where everyone's just kind of sprinting around crazy. It's kind of like actually what was going on um, yesterday when I was talking about playing against those kids. Like even though those kids like were extremely undermatched, there were a couple times where I, like I would run routes that normally like will always do well, especially like opening routes. And I'd run around turn to go kill people and there'd just be no one there. They'd just be like 
off in some random part of the map that like no one goes to just because like you know they don't know the map so i don't know i i think i actually do better against a little bit better players and a little bit more structured game type like for me but i don't know but yeah one in the chamber definitely my favorite i love how it just has an emphasis on um you know on accuracy the only thing that bothers me is um you know i was the host in this game i'm not gonna lie i had the host and Sometimes when you know when the knifing's going on, it definitely comes down to um, connection base. So I know I won a couple of those knives that I had here and there on connection base, and then a couple just because I jumped and they didn't do anything. But whatever, I'll take what I can get. Nice little snipe right there. Yeah. Um, let me know though what you guys think, because you know as always, I wanna, I kind of want to tailor my stuff to you a little bit too. I, I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit more wager matches and fun stuff like that. Uh, but let me know if you hate it too, because if you guys think this is boring to watch, I don't have to do them, you know, it's not a big deal, it's, I just thought it would be something fun to mix it up, um, but yeah, also let me know if you guys like another one better, I mean, if I had to pick another one that I'd like to play, it'd probably be Sharpshooter, uh, I just like how that one's kind of random and always mixed up, and you know, it's just a variety of different guns, but, um, if you guys want to see Gun Game or you want to see Sticks and Stones, let me know. I'll do sticks and stones, even though that shit aggravates me to no end, because I'm always winning the game and losing in the last second. All right, later. Super rush.